So I wanted to take you through a trick that I learned in PCB layout for a KiCad anyway. This here on the screen is a um, four channel uh, logic probe. Uh, the original design I've actually got is 10, 10 channels, but um, I just wanted to do for this demo, I just did it as four. Uh, and it's got four circuits that are exactly the same. This is channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. Uh, and as you can see, it's just I've just copy and pasted that three times and ended up with four channels. Uh, there's, connector here for each of the probes and uh, USB for power coming in. So it's something you know, pretty simple. And uh, so the difficulty now is when you come to the PCB layout side of things, because once you pull this into the PCB editor, um, you can take the first channel and you can lay it out, but then you've got the second, third and fourth or however many channels you've got to lay out. And the layout's going to be exactly the same. The schematics the same, the layout's going to be the same. Um, but to try and replicate that four, five, ten times, whatever, is is really hard and unnecessary. And you know, why would you want to do that? Uh, so all we need a way uh, in the way that I've cut and pasted the schematic across here for all the, all the channels. Is there a way we can do this in uh, in the PCB layout? And it turns out there is. So um, first thing you're going to need, um, if you go to the uh, KiCad launcher. Uh, I'm doing, I'm in version 8 at the moment, uh, but this will work for version 7 and 6 and I presume before that. Uh, we go to the, the uh, plugin content manager and in the filter here just type in replicate uh, and it brings up this plugin here and this is the this is the magic source. Um, so just install that, I obviously I've already installed it um, and uh, that's the bit that's going to help us to, to uh, copy that across. Now, the other trick within this process is uh, the way Replicator works. And what it does is it, it really needs to have each circuit in a separate on a separate sheet, because what you're going to do is take the first circuit, lay that out, um, and then say, right, repeat this for all the other sheets. And, and it goes across and does that. Uh, so what we need is a hierarchical sheet. So if we go to place and say add sheet, um, it's going to bring you a cursor over here and we just add a little sheet in there and we'll just call this uh, channel one um, and call it probe. Okay, so we've got the first channel over there and we just take our first circuit and I'm going to cut that out, right click, say enter sheet and paste that in. So that's the first part. Now the second part is that we've got a label here saying um, Pro 1 and when we copy and paste this across the other sheets they're all going to say Pro 1 which is not going to help because uh, it'll just call it short. So we'll take that out and what we want to do is expose um, that probe as a pin to the sheet as if the sheet was a component. Um, so what we'll do down the side here we go to um, uh, which one? Add, add high, this one here. Add hierarchical labels. It's an H, short key. Uh, so we'll just call this probe, and put it on there. So we have the probe. Okay. So that's done the circuit. Um, we we'll go back to the uh, root of the hierarchical page. We can now get rid of those ones because we don't need it. Uh, and this is the other part of the trick. We're going to copy and paste these, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, so copy, paste, paste, and paste, so, you know, four channels, and of course if you wanted five, so you just carry on pasting however many channels you want to do that. Uh, take that and we'll put it onto the sheet, and we'll grab that. So, um, and again we're going to take those probe labels out. Okay, so, um, Again, if we're in here, we've got a probe. If we go across all of these uh, different channels uh, for each page or hierarchical page, they're, they're all exactly the same. Um, the nice thing about this effect is copy and pasted is if I do a change to anything here, so just change the label, uh, it reflects across all the other copied pages. So they are linked uh, and that's really useful for design. So you don't have to go and repeat a change uh, in, from one schematic to the other. Um, so yes, so in here we've we created a hierarchical pin and that means when you go here, we can put that pin over here as, as if it was a component pin. Uh, and for that, we're gonna use um, import hierarchical sheet pins. And if we just click in there, it gives me, just zoom in there a bit. 
gives me the pin and I can put it wherever I want it. So I'm going to stick it sort of in the... Uh, it's not going exactly in the middle, but... Uh, just put it over there. I think if we just want to be a bit tidier, just make one of these... This is just me being pedantic now, you don't need to do this. Uh, right, so add the next pin, click in the next sheet. Um, so we still have that one selected. Uh, click that one, hierarchical pin, click in there, and hierarchical pin, click in there. So we now have got uh, some exported pins and we can take those and just wire that up uh, quick and easy. Oops quick and easy across there. Okay, so that is that done. And I, I think it's quite nice as well because it cleans this up. You haven't got this repeated circuit. Okay, obviously the sheets are, are repeated, but um, it just cleans up the page and, and makes this all, I think, a whole lot neater as well. So quite a few different benefits in there. All right, so we're done with that. We've created all the hierarchical sheets. Um, we've done the probes and we've connected up the probes to the outputs. Uh, so the next thing is the PCB layout. So I have started that. Uh, so if we head into here. Okay, so there are the other three channels. So I have laid out uh, channel, hopefully channel one. Uh, and I know it's channel one because I've got probe one over here. And that's going to there. So I've already laid this out like this. Uh, and what I want to do now is do the same layout here. So obviously KiCad has just placed these um, however it thinks fit, which is just to get them on the board. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is just copy this whole lot down better onto the sheet. Um, just I've realized in the past it's a good idea just to separate these out a bit because if it's um, if it's moving the components around, sometimes the, the two, uh, two groups will fit on top of each other, which is not obviously what you want. Um, so those are out there. I've got that one laid out. I've laid out the, um, the, this board part here already. Um, so when you added the um, plugin, uh, on your side, the icon won't be showing here. So to get that to show, go into Preferences, uh, Action Plugins, and just click the Show button, and then it'll, it'll show up there. Um, and the way this works is it just wants you to take one of the components. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, and really all you're doing is selecting the sheet that you're going to be working with as the master. Click the icon, um, replicate icon, and it brings up destination sheets. So you can choose which ones of these you want to do it to. In this case, obviously, you wanted to do it to all three, but you might have many different sheets, so you would select the ones you want to do it to. Um, we want to group the layouts. Um, that's just useful for being able to move things around. Um, and as this is the first time we're doing it, we don't need to click the removing tracks. But if you've done the layout um, and then you change something in here and reapply the layout, then do you do need to have removed the existing tracks. Otherwise, um, any tracks you've moved or changed will still, the older ones will still be there, which obviously you don't want. Um, so, next thing is just to click OK, and off it goes, and it has now laid out all the other ones. Uh, it's put them down horizontally for some reason, but that doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, it's, it's grouped them as well, which is very useful. So we can just rotate each of those like that, and then get them into the right order. Um, so we've got that, and I can see the order just because this is channel one, two, three, four. So this is all we want these in. And we can just bring these down here and put them there. Right, so now um, I have noticed, and it's a little bit temperamental about this, you'll notice that it hasn't taken this one here, um, this track. And I, it's only a little bit, little bit of a bug in the system. It should take it. I'm not sure why. I'm going to guess just because this bit hasn't been rooted and it's decided it's not part of it or something. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but it's a bit of a pain, but you can just go in and add. And the way you'll need to do that is to click on that, um, enter the group, and X to do this, and then just, it's not very nice. I'm just doing this quickly. You'll probably spend a bit more time on this. 
don't you have to be careful you have to go out of the group and then into that group and out of that group and into this group it's temperamental sometimes it takes and sometimes it doesn't um, but in this case it didn't uh, so there we've got all of those uh, back in uh, not very neatly laid out but you get the point um, None of the ground tracks are laid in at the moment, and actually I can see I have forgotten to do a, um, a track over here. Uh, so that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these three, and I'm just going to align them to top. Well, not again, because what I want to do, uh, just to make things neat, is distribute those so that it's a little bit easier to, um, or it's a bit neater anyway. So, all right, so we've got this done. Um, I'm going to unlock this one again. So now we've got a couple of things we need to do from here. We need to, I've forgotten this, this track over here, uh, and we need to do our ground planes. And I've got, a, I've got a ground fill in the back there, so we need to collect those. But again, we don't want to do this to all four of them, we just want to do it to the one, and this will carry on with that process. So um, or the replicator will deal with that. So the first thing we want to do is just put this back in. Try to do it properly. There we go. Um, now we are going to put some grounds in, so we've got a ground over here, let's just grab that and pop a field over there, and yeah, let's drop a field over there as well. Alright, so we only, we only need to do it to this one, uh, we don't, don't worry about the 5 volts yet because we're going to handle that afterwards. Uh, we've got a ground over here, so I'm just going to take this one, uh, probably, my grid is too small. Um, let's just go in here a bit. Uh, let's just grab this and go to there and drop a beer over there. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, spending too much time on this. Uh, layout side of things because I'm not worried too much about what the layout is, just what we're doing here. Okay, so I've got the fears dropped to the to the ground level. Um, five volts will sort out afterwards. So what I found here as well is if you if you leave everything grouped, it won't redo the replication properly. Uh, so I'll show you that if I enter into the group, uh, select that. Click that, um, I want to say remove existing tracks because we're redoing it, uh, and it gives me a, a rather nasty error. Uh, so that's not a problem. Uh, we're just going to select it all and ungroup everything. So everything's ungrouped. Select the main one, back into there, remove existing tracks. So we're redoing it, and click OK. And now it has put the additional views in. Uh, again, Again, a bit buggy at the top end, it hasn't put the veers in for there. It has put these ones in, but not those. Um, I don't know if this is just because version 8 is a bit newer, and, and version 8's only just been released, actually, a couple of weeks ago, so it might just be a, a, a versioning issue. Um, but again, not too much of an issue. Uh, we can just go in here and manually do, manually do these, because that's not really a problem. that and okay, I'm not too worried about the fears at the moment. Don't need these to be neat. So that's put those in. Um, next thing we want to do is you just want to create the uh, the rest of the five volts going up here, uh, and join that up to the other side. So we'll just grab, take this down to there. Joins up those five volts, and then we just need to grab the five volts out of each of these. And that there, and that there, and that there. Again, I'm not being too neat with this. This is really just for demonstration purposes. This is not going off to manufacture. Uh, I would spend a lot more time on this if I was 
uh, when I'm going to production. But there you go. Uh, and there is the layout. It's just, uh, and obviously you'd, you'd lay these things out as well. Uh, just put that in the middle over there. And Okay, um, so not the best layout in the world, but but to give you the idea, and this is really, really useful. Uh, and if you're doing 10 channels or 20 channels or whatever you're doing, this is just the most useful tool uh, to replicate that layout across uh, a PCB. Uh, and as I say, I think even on the uh, on the um, schematic side of things, it just neatens things up a bit. Um, and the, the, the real bonus for me is that, you know, if you come in here and change a resistor value, I don't know, to... 100k would normally be 100k, obviously, but uh, throw 100k in there. Then when you go to all the other pages, it has uh, you know, they're all linked, so it changes that as well. Let's just get back up to 10k. So there you are. I think that is a very useful uh, KiCad tool and an extremely useful plugin. Um, so if you're doing this sort of thing, then um, uh, give it a go and see what happens. And uh, as always, give the video a like if you liked it, or leave comments in the in the uh, Comments below, um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.